What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. As you already know, we have another week of workouts and I also have a very, very exciting announcement that I will get to in just a bit. I have five workouts using only dumbbells, so you can do these from home if you have dumbbells or you can take these with you to the gym. Feel free to take this video with you into a new week and follow these to a T or you can just take inspiration whatever you want. But yes, before we get into the video, I do want to formally announce that... Oh God. No, I haven't actually like said it out loud yet. I haven't even really told anyone besides my family. <sighs> I am officially a Gymshark athlete. Oh, <laughs> I can't believe those words are coming out of my mouth right now. Holy, it's official. Ooh, it doesn't feel real. If you guys have been following me since the start of this channel, since the start of my fitness journey, you guys know I love Gymshark and I've been rocking their stuff since, I don't know, probably 2016, 2017 when I bought my first pair of flex leggings. This is seriously like a dream come true for me and I feel like I take a lot of pride in the person who I am, where I'm from, what makes me me today. And so I'm just so extremely excited and grateful to get to represent young women like myself, fellow fitness enthusiasts, my Asian community, people in the Bay Area. Before graduating college, I didn't really know what direction my social platforms would go, but so naturally I started sharing more of my fitness journey, my workouts, and all of that, and it's led me to the opportunity that I have here today, and it's been the absolute best. I love the content that I'm making these days, and I feel like that's that's how it should be. So I'm so excited for this journey. Oh my God, my heart feels so heavy right now, but in a really good way. Thank you so much to Gymshark for opening arms and welcoming me to the fam. And also a huge, huge thank you to each and every one of you guys who watches my videos, who does my workouts, and just supports me every day. You guys are a huge part of what makes me who I am today. But yes, with that being said, your girl is officially a Gymshark athlete. I will be giving you all the updates on new launches. You guys can shop through my link, which I will always leave in my videos. You can also find it in my Instagram bio. So by shopping through my link, you can be supporting me and also get yourself some new workout clothes. I just gotta say this again, if I didn't say it already. I don't know, but I love you guys so, so much. And without further ado, let's get into this week of workouts. All right, first workout of the week, we got legs, of course. I didn't include what warmups I did in this video, but typically I just do dynamic stretches and body weight exercises to get started. Pretty much all of my workouts here will be made up of supersets in which two exercises are performed back to back and then repeated three to four times. First off, we have dumbbell front squats. I loaded the dumbbells at my shoulders and continued squatting here. After completing 10 reps, I dropped one of the weights and went into some overhead dumbbell squats. This is a total body move that works just about everything. It increases upper back, shoulder, core strength, while also reinforcing proper squatting technique, according to Google. <laughs> but yes, I completed three to four sets of this superset before moving on. Next we have split squats, so holding both weights, I'm lowering myself down so that my legs make two 90 degree angles and my back knee gently taps the floor. I did eight reps here and then switched to the other side. Again, I'm dropping one of the weights, I'm holding it at my chest and I'm doing reverse lunges. I'm alternating here, so I did a total of 20. For our next superset, we have RDLs, keeping my back flat and knee slightly bent. I'm hinging at the hips and lowering myself until I feel a nice stretch in my hamstrings before coming back up. 10 reps here. Then again, I dropped one weight and did 10 of these weighted jump squats. Final superset, we have glute bridges. I'm resting one dumbbell on my hips and completing 15 reps. Then I set my dumbbell so that it's standing up at the end of my mat, flip on over, grab hold of the weight between my feet, and do some hamstring curls. I do these slow and controlled. 15 reps here will wrap up this superset. Also, be careful when putting the weight back down. I was really afraid to crush my toes, so do that slowly. But yes, that concludes Monday's leg day. This only requires a set of medium to heavy sized dumbbells. This is a great way to start off my week. Alrighty, we have our first upper body day of the week, mostly working on chest, abs, and a little bit of tricep work. We'll be on our backs for a lot of this, so please enjoy laying down. We're starting off with some standard dumbbell chest presses, but the rep sequence here is 10 reps on the right, 
10 reps on the left and then five together. If you have access to a bench, definitely use it, but if not, the floor is fine too. For those final five reps where we're doing them together, I did about a three second count on the way down and press up quickly on the way up. Keep this 10, 10, five sequence in mind because you'll be seeing a lot more of it in this workout. I supersetted those chest presses with hip raises, or I guess they're kind of like reverse crunches. I set a dumbbell above my head to grip onto for support. Not completely necessary, but yeah. I aimed to do 15 reps and I repeated the superset three to four times. Next, we are doing basically the same exact thing, but this time we are doing closed grip chest presses. My palms are facing towards each other and we are doing that same 10, 10, five rep sequence. I'm not holding the weights together. I'm keeping the weights apart and yeah, they stay apart even during those final five reps. Immediately after, I placed one weight between my feet so that it can be an anchor while I do these weighted crunch sit-ups. Oh, sorry, weighted crunches to sit-ups. I'm holding the other dumbbell above my chest, going up halfway, dropping back down, and then fully sitting up. One crunch to one sit-up equals one rep. Ten of these will get your abs on fire. Moving on, we have dumbbell chest flies. I switched to some lighter dumbbells. I'm using some 12 pounds here. And as you can see, we are doing the same rep sequence. I know you're tired of hearing it, but 10 on the right, 10 on the left, and then five. I supersetted that with these isometric tricep kickbacks. So here in the video, I'm actually keeping one arm at a 90 degree angle by my body while the other one is repping it out, but I meant to keep that other arm extended out behind me and holding it there while the other one's repping. Either way though, this was a great one for the triceps. I did 15 kickbacks on each side. And to finish off this workout, we have two rounds of the following, 10 push-ups, 20 hip dips, 40 mountain climbers, and 60 scissor kicks. I actually got the three last exercises from Bretman Rock's ab workout. He posted it on his story one morning and I just literally took a snippet of it and added it to my workout. So yeah, that's where I got that from. But yeah, just two rounds of these final body weight chest ab exercises and we are done. <laughs> done. Your chesticles and abs will be feeling so strong after this. Happy hump day. We got this cute little blue number on for our back and biceps workout. Each superset will be one back exercise followed by one bicep exercise. First, we have one of my favorites, the Renegade Row. I start off in a plank position on top of my dumbbells. I row right, then I row left. The biggest challenge here is keeping your hips in line with the floor, so a strong and steady core will keep you from swinging side to side. I completed 10 on each side, so 20 total, and moved right into some of these dumbbell bicep curls using my 12 pound weights. Next, we have closed grip bent over rows. So holding my two dumbbells together with palms facing towards each other, I'm peeling my elbows back and pulling the weight towards my body. My dumbbells, number one, get really slippery and number two, my hands were just really clammy this day. So I kept having to drop the weight and readjust myself, but no worries, we carry on regardless. I supersetted those closed grip rows with these closed grip bicep curls. And I'm just using one of my 25 pound dumbbells for this. Quick little workout break to say hi to Elvis because I guess he wanted to be in the video. Everyone, say hi to Elvis. Moving on, we have rear delt pulls. My palms are facing away from my body and my arms are at a wider angle as I'm rowing them back. 10 reps here, followed by wide bicep curls. I kept my elbows peeled to my sides, arms facing outwards, and did 15 of these bicep curls. Our final superset for this back and biceps workout, we have some lying lat pullovers. I held out a single dumbbell and carefully brought it from above my chest to past my head. I would have tried to lower the weight a little bit further behind my head, but I didn't want to risk smashing my finger between the dumbbell and the floor. But again, if you have a bench, that would be perfect for these. I did 10 lat pullovers followed by 21s using that same dumbbell. You could use two lighter dumbbells for this, totally up to you. 21s consist of seven reps from the bottom to the middle, seven reps from the middle to the top, and then seven full reps from bottom to top. <laughs> so in total, 21 reps, all for the biceps. But yes, those were the last two exercises for that workout. Repeat that superset a few more times and that's it. 
my arms actually felt like jello after this one. Lots and lots of bicep work and lots of back work too. <laughs> <laughs> what am I saying? Okay. Anyways, we love it. All right. All right. Happy Thursday Let's get ourselves set up to do some shoulders shoulders is definitely my favorite upper body part to train So I'm excited superset number one. We are starting off with seated shoulder presses I'm using my 25s and completing 10 reps. We are supersetting that with hold on I'm gonna look at my timer 30 seconds of these bare hold shoulder taps for this workout we're gonna have a shoulder exercise followed by 30 seconds of a body weight exercise. This bear hold position calls for a nice flat back, legs at a 90 degree angle, and knees lifted off the ground. Adding that shoulder tap will make you wanna rock side to side, but we want to keep that to a bare minimum. <laughs> Next superset, we have single arm Arnold presses. I'm kneeling here for the sake of me fitting in the frame, but you could do these standing up or just seated, followed by 30 seconds of pike push-ups. I start myself off in a downward dog position and as I'm lowering down, my head goes directly to the floor and my elbows are flaring slightly out. These really work the shoulders. Great little push-up variation. Next, we have front raises. I'm trying my best here to make sure that my shoulders are doing majority of the work rather than using the momentum from my body to get that weight up. So 10 front raises followed by 30 seconds of push-ups. Normal push-ups, I'm wrapping out as many of those as I can. If I start to struggle a little bit, I drop to my knees and continue until time is up. And lastly, we have lateral arm raises. Similar to what we did on our previous chest day, we now have the 10-10-10 sequence. So 10 lateral raises on the right, 10 on the left, and then 10 together. This was such a great way to burn out my shoulders. I friggin' love it. And the last exercise for the superset are these commandos plus shifts. I really don't have a better name for these, but basically I start off in a plank, walked it down to my forearms, shifted my weight forward, back, and made it back up into a plank position. So again, it's down to the forearms, shift forward, shift back, and back up to plank. 30 seconds of these will have your shoulders and abs feeling real good. But yay, that's all I got for you today. I will see you in our final workout for this video and for the week. Ayo, it is full body Friday. I put together an EMOM to mix it up since we've been doing tons of supersets all week. EMOM stands for every minute on the minute, complete the reps given, and rest for the remainder of the minute before moving on to the next move. Starting off, we have a minute to complete 12 of these chest press plus glute bridges. I'm keeping my hips and butt off the floor. I chest press and then I do a glute bridge while my arms are holding the dumbbells up the entire time. Minute two, we have split squats, two presses. I'm using two lighter dumbbells. You could use one heavy, up to you. I start off on one side, do six reps, and then I switch to the other side. Minute three, we have push-ups to two mountain climbers. So a normal push-up, two mountain climbers, repeat. I aim to do 12 push-ups total, but towards the end, it got pretty hard, so I did drop to my knees. This is your reminder to take whatever variation your body needs. Minute four, we have stiff leg deadlifts to bent over rows. One deadlift, one row equals one. We go for 12. Minute five, we have this little arms slash shoulder combo. We're doing a curl to a press to a tricep overhead extension. And we're doing, yeah, we're just, we're just doing it all in this one. 12 of these total, 12 is just our magic number of the day, if you couldn't already tell. Last exercise for this EMOM, minute six, we have weighted Russian twists. We're doubling it up here, 24 of these. I know it sounds like a lot, but they're not too bad. And finally, minute seven is your minute to rest before starting this all over again. Complete four to five rounds of all these exercises for a 30 to 35 minute workout. This is great if you're running a little short on time, but you still want a super sweaty and effective workout. All right, you guys, so that is going to wrap up another week of workouts. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you tried these workouts out for yourself. If you do, make sure to tag me on Instagram at San Francisco so I can see y'all working hard, I can repost you, cheer you on, all of that. But yeah, if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely go do that because I post workouts here on my channel, on Instagram, sometimes even on TikTok. So thank you again to you guys for being here, supporting me, and allowing me to live out this dream of being a Gymshark athlete. Ah!
<laughs> I'll be leaving everything you need down in the description. So the workouts written out, sets, reps, what I'm wearing from Gymshark, as well as my Gymshark link, which you can shop and support me through. But yes, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. If you have any specific requests on workouts you want to see from me or just videos in general, definitely leave them down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. That is it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.